I'm Funnelled Fox FM and this is Bite Sized FM, Football Manager in Under 10 Minutes. So thanks to an eight game unbeaten run since we lost to Jamax in the last episode, a run which includes four wins and four draws, we're in the position today taking on FC Ville that we can get promoted. So there's five games of the season left, a possible 12 points to play for. We're 11 points clear of FC Ville, so avoiding defeat in today's game against them will make us champions. So it's just a short 40 minute drive to the sport park, Burkholz, which has a 6,000 capacity and is the home of FC Ville. So today's lineup is Van Inns in goal, Brunner, Bangura, Neff comes in for Keskovic, who's pretty tired, Roche at left back. We then had a change of roles a little bit in the centre of midfield, with Kukeli playing as a deep line playmaker on defend, Yapo playing as an advanced playmaker on support, and then the attacking centre midfield role stay the same. Ben Khalifa's playing there today. Odomadi's on the right wing because Rodriguez is injured for a week. Kurt's on the left wing and Komanaki's up front. Plays out for Kakeli. Neff, who just plays back to Van Enns, who just hoofs it along to nobody at all. In fact, he doesn't. Kurt gets onto it. Now Kovanaki's in. Now can he finish? Has he got the pace even? He does finish. Didn't need the pace. Struck that one from quite a way out, and that's a brilliant goal. 15th goal of the season for Kovanaki. Good ball in by Kurt. Kovanaki had acres and acres of space. Being closed down quick, though, and he just unleashes a thunderbolt into the top corner. Long forwards. Kovanaki try and win this. He does. Gets it to Adamadi. Uses pace coming forwards. Stops it. Brings it back for Yapo. Ben Khalifa into Kovanaki. In for Adamadi. Goes for the shot and is saved by Dina. We get the corner. Kurt to take. Headed on. Tipped over the bar. We get another corner. Here's Kurt. And Kovanaki makes it 2-0. Not totally sure what happened there. I think the keeper missed it. The outswinger from Kurt. Keeper comes where it flaps. Kovanaki gets higher. Heads home. Yapo with a free kick. Hits it. Puts it in top corner. That's how we started the season. First episode of the season he did that as well. 35 minutes in, 3 0 up, we're cruising. Absolutely brilliant free kick. Good ball over the top for Rue. He's in here. Oh, and he just puts that wide. Sometimes susceptible to those balls over the top of our defence. Brenner with the throw. Trying to find Yapo. Gets it to Khalifa. Kurt's unmarked. Can't get it under control quick enough, but he's in now. In fact, he's fouled by Guy Ramos. We get the penalty. It's a chance to make it 4 0. Kovanaki with a penalty. Oh, and it's a rubbish penalty. Dina nearly knocks it in, but he gets the save in the end. Bill on the attack. Joe Lee. Loads of space to run into. Gets past his man easy. Here's Rue. Oh, hits the bar, I think. Cleared away by Brunner. It's the best chance Veal have had all game. See Yilmaz into Rue. Yilmaz again. He played in Rue. The angle's tight. Oh, that's a brilliant finish. Really good goal. Sorry, fr Absolutely thunderbolt of a strike there by Rue. Really good finish. Veal have got. 12 minutes to score three more goals. It's probably our best performance of the season, that one. 3-1 win. Kovanaki with two. Should have had a hat-trick, missing the penalty. Yapo as well. It puts us on 61 points. There's four games of the season remaining. We can't be catched now by anybody. Sinenkert was a man of the match with nine. Two assists. Although it could have equally gone to Kovanaki as well with his two goals. So there's a confirmation then that we win the Challenge League title. The board have also set the budgets for next season. Can have a wage budget of 140,000, so that's a 60,000 pound increase. We have a transfer budget of 1.6 million. 
So we finished the final four games of the season, two draws, a win over FC Le Mont and a 3-0 loss final game of the season against FC Chiasso. That means we won the league from 11 points from Jamax, who finished second and were our closest challengers for most of the season. At the end of the season, the awards have been done. Kesevich got Fans Player of the Season, followed by Bangura and then Cedric Brunner. Goal of the season was Yappy Yappo's free kick in the game we've just seen against FC Ville, so we don't need to see that again. Sign of the season was Nassim Ben Khalifa, and he was pretty good actually in the second half of the season. I think he can do a job for us next year in the Super League as well. He only cost just under £40,000. And young player of the season was Cedric Brunner, 23 year old. Played most of the season as a right back, although he did make a couple of appearances in centre midfield. Kovanaki was our top goal scorer with 16 goals, 13 of those coming in the league. Kirk got six goals and then March Sane got five. So did Kaskovic, although he went on loan after a while. Top assists was Sin and Kirk with nine. Although Shown Backler got seven, I think, before he left. So we'd have probably won that if we'd managed to keep hold of him. Kovanaki had five and then Buff and Duramena both had four each. Average ratings, Keskovic had the top average rating, then Neff, followed by Bangura and Nassim Khalifa. In terms of next season and the squad, we've got a fair few players who want to leave or are wanted by other clubs. Um, Chiamento's going anyway, so is Keskovic, wherever he is. There, he's got a transfer arranged, end of his contract going to Osman the sport in Turkey and then yeah fair few players want to leave Yappy Yappo being one of them I feel like we've got the basis of a decent squad here some good players I'm going to try and see if I can get Kurt back in on loan maybe Kovanaki I'm not sure yet there might be better options than him available to me now we're in the Super League as for Ames next season I'd like to finish mid-table fifth maybe get top half there's only 10 teams in the division again same as in the Challenge League I think it's too early for us to be thinking about challenging the likes of Basel and winning the league. As for this season, well, we did what was expected of us. We got promotion, we won the league, we had the best squad, and we got the job done. It's a bit of a grind at times, to be honest. Not so much because I wasn't enjoying I've really enjoyed actually managing in Switzerland. I found it fun. But some of the games, playing against teams that are just looking to defend and sit deep and hit you on the break, it's tricky at times. Like I said, we got the job done we move on to next season and into the Swiss Super League. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more.